Hello. Hello. <laughs> yes, I'm bam, bam, finally. I think we've got the problem sorted now. I've got a charger. Oh my days. Yeah, they've lent me a charger up there. Up there. Thanks to the guys that we've been with. They lent me a charger. <laughs> yes. Hello. Big up, big up, big up. How big you doing, up, darling? Up. I'm all right now. I'm, I mean, you know what? My battery died on my phone. <laughs> And my friend lent me his Hawaii phone, which is just terrible. That's what I don't know what them phones are all about. But yeah, hey, see that's what you with Android. That's what you get with Android, mate. That's yeah, mate. I'm, it's T my phone all the way for me. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yes. Looking all beautiful. Right. I know that you're a film premiere, and I know the receiving of the reception might be a bit crap. But as long as you can yes. hear me, that is amazing. I can hear you. I can hear your sweet voice loud and clear. <laughs> Boosting, you're my baby. I've known you for a long while. Thank you for taking yes. time out to come and be on the show. Um, no, my come on, that's the least well, you know. You know what I mean? And you know you're coming back. You're coming back. 110. 110 percent. When I'm sitting down, stable, stationary, you understand? I can have my headphones nice, comfy, and yeah, we can yeah. proper reason. Yeah. I'll, I'll probably get you to come to mine, sit in my lovely location, and you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, even that sounds better than lockdown easing up now. Even that, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that sounds Honestly. just right. Right, now that I know you're at the film premiere, and I'm sure they started, because my friends already told me they started. But look, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Just quick, you know, I've quickly given a story about, you know, where you've come from. I want you to just, just touch on, push in, say hello to the audience, just give a brief yeah. synopsis, where you came from, and what you, you do, do oh. know what I mean? Just a small little snippet, so... Yes, people, big up, good evening, blessings, happy weekend, happy Friday. Um, yeah, man, I'm sure Valerie told you, but I mean, initially Heartless Crew started as a sound system back in North London in the early 90s. I took some inspiration from my brother and I also took some of his records and we set up our own little sound, uh, played in our local community centres, the youth clubs, went on to playing in a um, couple nightclubs, one being Chimes in Hackney. Um, oh my God. Chimes. Yeah, chimes in the toes, chimes, man. That's where we learned all our tricks yeah. in the toes. We got yeah. Anthony Brightly. Um, and from Chimes, we went on to Mission FM radio, pirate radio station 90.6. That's where a lot of people know us. And I mean, it was there that the transition happened. Like um, I'm saying, we're initially, no, I shouldn't even say initially, we're, we are still a sound system at heart. But um, when we joined Mission FM, because we had so much records, like they made us kind of split our show. So we done one R&B bashment mix up show. And one garage show and just so happened at that particular time garage was just taken off so yeah like, yeah people from that point knew us as a garage act and garage kind of what got us that made us popular so to speak 
Well, um, I think, yeah, we went. You, you, yeah. Even when you say popular, because when you were growing up, you said you took your brother's records, but you didn't want to yeah. start out as like a DJ. You wanted to be, you know, like, you know, like the MC. You weren't actually spinning records, though, were you? No, like... I was actually a DJ. I was actually a DJ first. Funny enough, it's weird. All three of us, both me, Mighty Mo, and Fonty, all started as DJs. In fact, for me, maybe Fonty was a bit of both because Fonty was in my school at the time. Fonty was like the best MC in the school. But this is like before I was MC and definitely before Mo. In a way, Fonty kind of taught both me and Mo as well. It will definitely influenced us in our MC. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, and kind of. No, I, mean, you see, I didn't know that. I always thought it was the other way around. Do you know what I'm saying? Because knowing Fonte no, as well. So no, Fonte know. is the original. He's the original MC man. He, like he was cashing man at the back of the 43 bus in the days and all sorts. <laughs> Fonte, yeah. So it, you know what? It, in school, uh, Fonte was just like he's just very musical. Um, yeah. so that and um, I went to Fonte as a, a the music man of the school and another guy in my class, David, who was like a brain box. And I went to both of them too and said like, yes, let's start a sound system. Um, and yeah, that was that was it. But and yeah, that's how that came about. But you wasn't called Heartless Crew then. You know, who was your influences when you were growing up? Was what was the sort of people that was around you influencing? This is the fastest I've ever spoken, by the way. Yes, likewise. But yes, yeah, a speed date. Um, who was, was I was taking inspiration from uh, the Jamaican sound system, so Stone Love, um, Metro Media, Silver Hawk, um, Kilimanjaro, and then the artist was at Bujo Brand and Tiger, Yellow Man, Papa San. Cobra, yeah. Capiton, those type of people. Um, you can hear it in your like, lyrics. You can hear it in your persona because you have this, this. I mean, you can flow on anything. To be fair, but you've never relinquished that that influence within. No matter what music you sing on, even you know. I mean, I'm going to come quickly <laughs> up to where you are now. You know, yeah. so you still have that taste, that influence. So you've been on to the Mission FM. You're, you know, you guys are now, you know, renowned, and you've now come into the garage scene. Now that's when I mm. met you. Do you understand? Yes, yeah, so early, yes, yeah, so early, 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 early garage, early yeah, days. early garage days. That's right. That's exactly right. The early, early garage days. Yeah, man. Well, that's like the whole. That's where it started. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's where it came, so where it came, you guys right. came up, and it was all three of you. And you're on the radio station now. I had just done tingles, and the click had just about to bless the click had just started doing their thing, and yeah. all of a sudden, Heartless Crew has come on the scene. I've already played the tune Heartless, which is your theme track. Which you know, it wasn't even released then, it was just your theme tune, right? That's the anthem, yeah, that's right. We were just playing it, we had it on like a dub plate, we was playing it for ages. Like in the who clubs else was around like at that. the time when you lot first come on the scene? Who else was around at, at the time? Um, I've got to give a big shout out to MC Creed because like we was me and Fonty in particular were like jungle ravers, avid every weekend. And I remember one week, um, Fonty was tired. He went into that room two. Remember, garage was in room two of the jungle raves, and he went in there and he said he come back after he got what are you coming here. This brother man, he's got some robot voice. Like he's sick. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he come and told me out and we we see Creed and we stayed in there for a little while. Um, but then, yeah, after, I mean, it wasn't like straight away, probably maybe a year, or I don't know how long afterwards, but that was actually MC Creed. Um, so, yeah, he was like, the original person we saw doing the garage thing, MCing. Um, also, Dominic Spreadlove was like big them times. We had an office next to him. Um, who else was, PSG was big because we knew him also from the jungle. He was MCing on jungle as well, so we knew PSG. Yeah, um, yeah. But who gave you yeah. your chance? But when I mean, you know, and I know like, what it's like in that particular industry coming up. It was dog eat dog. Yeah. Everybody yes. was fighting for yeah. their corner, and very you much so. came in and said, "You know what? I'm, we're just going to do our thing. We're not even worried about nobody." To be fair, you lot came yeah. in and literally because you had like so solid crew. You had oxide yeah. and neutrino. You had pay as you go. Um, you had the cartel. Yeah. You had so many of them. Everyone wanted to yeah. sort of like Slash. clash with you yeah. guys and dust. But you lot yeah. dust them out. Dust them you know, out. I a lot of them didn't realize we come from sound system culture so clashing is part of sound system culture that's what we was we're a sound system that like we had bare dub plates and all these type of things before we come into the garage scene and then we got even more in the garage scene so these guys they kind of saw what we was doing and like yeah. so so in the page ago they came after us they saw what we was doing and they kind of jumped on the bandwagon in the garage arena because yeah. they only saw that part that we was doing so they saw the one dimensional but so when they're coming to clash us now in the garage team, they don't know well, where it sounds. This is what we do, like, exactly. yeah. like it, it's like we've never been a clashing sound, but we've always been able to clash 
You understand? Um, we're more of a girl sound, but the thing with these guys, they've always tried to, you know, sometimes they, they pick fights, they, they're bringing their yeah. knife to gunfights in a way. And I was there, I've been there, I saw it. It's, I'm never, not gonna, it's, I'm, never, it's never worked tell. out. Yeah, <laughs> I, I saw it. I've, I've been there. I've been, yeah. actually, well, I'm watching you guys, you know, having it out on the stage and the clash and stuff like that. Exactly. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't want to go deeper, but I'm going to start. You've worked with. Even when, you know, Heartless Crew, so I'm going to take you away from Heartless Crew okay. because you've always stood out. Not frozen. just with the my... or their man there, you, you decided to want to branch out. And, yes, yeah, that's You know, you branched out and, uh, you know, obviously, you know, Bush Bash and you decided that, you know, you went to a record label. To, I mean, I know the story, what's happened with the record label in terms of how you wanted to experiment being an artist away from the yeah. guy. Just give a brief yeah. synopsis of why and how. What was that experience like? Um, I mean, it was two things really. One, when we was all signed to the mm -hmm. mm Heartless -hmm. Crew, I just felt that the whole vibe was wrong. The way they dealt with us was just wrong. There was no love there. Uh, there was no feelings. It was almost we almost lost the love for music, like working with a major record label. And at that point, I always said that you know what, if I get the chance, I'm going to set up my own own independent record label, which is going to yeah. be for the people. And it's going to be about love and vibes and then yeah. also with the mc and that's my i love mc and then i love the the whole garage scene and the, the rays and stuff like that but i also want to give myself another challenge and a, a test as well and the, the thing is with the mc which is it's great but it's not necessarily recognized right around the world and no. then also with mc it's like i can go and do a set tonight and spit some lyrics and i'm not necessarily going to remember what i spitted or what order it was in or anything like that. as an artist you've got set tunes People can go back, they can listen to your tune, they can listen to your album, they can stream it. So it kind of gives it, a, just kind of etches it and gives it a bit more... Um, something, something more for fear, yeah, isn't it? That's, yeah, that's right. It's, yeah. a bit, it's, just a, it's a level up almost, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, so, so that, that's kind of the reason why I want to do that. And yeah, just have something. I mean, although the, the CDs and tape packs are always fly around, it's good to have a tune that people can attach to a certain feeling and they can go back and listen to that tune in, in a certain mood or if they want to up change their mood um so yeah man that's that's kind of why i really wanted to jump in and put that and i like that yeah because be even when, but whilst you're doing that you know the scene mm. is changing because it's gone to drill and it's going to to um grime yeah. and you yeah. are still um elevating you're still you know innovating people you're still aspiring and because you you're <laughs> new, you've never you've never changed what your attitude is um you know i'm going to just show a couple of pictures on the screen people can see it when i'm talking to you but these okay. are some of the moods of you know bushkin over the years um <laughs> styles you are like a style icon <laughs> you know different hairstyles yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm, as I said, I'm speeding it to bring it up to date because we are going to do part two. But we're going to de definitely, 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 do definitely. Part two because your history is very, very long, and uh, we didn't get to start bang on eight o'clock. But I'm going to bring it up to you. So here you are, the label. You guys have come back together because you took that part space away from them. We won't go into mm -hmm. why or whatever the, if, the, the ish about it. The fact is, you mm -hmm. took your hiatus, came back together. Yeah. Um, yes. But you still had Bush Bash Records and still yeah. experimenting. Do you know what I mean? So look, I'm going to chuck in something. This is something a tune that I think is hilarious. I love okay. it because apart from working with Heartless Crew, you've sang with Alana V. You've done work with um, uh, Big Nasty. You've done tracks yeah. with Harvey. You've done some yeah. tunes with the Cool Act Crew. Them down in Jamaica. There's a yeah. lot. Yeah. I've got all the tunes. I've got them all here. So, but because I know I can't, you know, we've missed out so much, we're going to speak Yes, it. no, we're going to, okay, You know, I'm going to yes. give a snippet, at least give everybody a snippet of just literally two seconds. You can see it as well. This tune cracked me up. This one. This one. <laughs> I'm laughing already, sorry. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Yes. <laughs> okay. What made you do that, 
Yes. Christmas number one. <laughs> Big up sticky on the beat as well, you know. Sticky this is oh sticky production, you know. <laughs> jeez, jeez, jeez. Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love that tune. When I first heard it, I thought, what the hell? Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but so I'm different, so I'm again, different. another tune that you do, and I'm gonna bring you up to date. So you've worked with various different other people, and but you yeah. have it maintained. You hooked up with, um, let me see if I can find this. I love this tune. Um, I'm not going to bring Harvey in. Uh, there's a tune that you've done with Harvey. Let me see if I can find the other tune that I really, really like. Hopefully I haven't got rid of it. Um, bear me a second. So this one, okay. yeah. I love. I do like this tune. I'm going to bring it up for you. See, so this is another collaboration that a lot of people don't even realise that you've done. Okay. Oh yes, yeah, this is like a dance tune. Yeah, that's right. We done yeah, that's right. Bushkin, don't mess with me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah go on, you dig, you dig in deep, you dig in deep. Oh, go on, I'm in deep. The undercover little ones there, yeah. Yeah, man, I'm gonna start cutting my shapes, man. You're gonna make me start. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go on. Oh, you know, I know we're skipping, we're yeah. skipping through. But we're yeah, I love that tune. You and Alana V. You know what I mean? That's a bad yeah, one. But what people felt nah, to me like, yeah, man, I love that tune. I'm gonna come really. I'm gonna have to drop all the tunes of that. I, I mean, I've got another five, six, seven. But we'll come back to that. Jeez. I'm gonna bring what you're doing today because Bushkin, you are not just an MC. You're an entrepreneur. And I, and Hi. when I say an entrepreneur, it's you are, as I said, still innovating people out there because these gu young guys are coming up. My question to you before I bring up the next stage of where you are, how do you find the scene now? And do you feel that you're having to change anything about yourself to keep up with what's going on? Um. No, no, I don't. I definitely don't need to change. Um, my mum always taught me like you're the head and not the tail. So you installed some like key values into me like from young. So um, yeah, I'm never trying to change. I'm just being myself. And again, by default, I'm the kind of naturally a trendsetter. I've always just done my own thing. You understand? Know, yeah. Stood out yeah. for doing it. So so yeah, not never gonna really try and change or follow suit with 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 everyone else. You understand? Know, um, so that's yeah. one thing, but I, the scene is good. I mean, you know, I'm a lover of life. So when people ask me about the scene and stuff like that, I always try and give a positive spin on it because I just enjoy life in general. I mean, the scenes are forever changing. There's still, there's, obviously there's always things that I don't like in it. And I mean, some of them being that the music is, is, is it's kind of lost its soul and its essence. But again, rather than kind of complain about it, this is why I'm trying to do the, the label and I'm taking inspiration mainly from Barry Gordy and Motown. Because that's what I'm trying to build, something like that, a more time where the music lasts and will well outlast myself. Um, and again, with the artists, what I'm noticing out there, it's been for quite some time, artists are going with these major record labels and they're not getting developed. So they don't really know what it takes to be an artist. You understand? They're not really groomed and they're not really being seasoned, so to speak. So that's one thing that we're going to like really home in on, artist development, because that's something that's almost been forgotten nowadays. Absolutely. So artists are coming. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, they, they're giving some money, they're giving a quick little spin without if they've like one or two tunes or if they're lucky an album and then it's they're, they're gone and it's on to the and next one. Gone, yeah. Kind of yeah. Music. yeah, so and that's the kind of I mean, I'm not saying that I want to break that cycle, but we just want to yeah, just do it differently than that. Yeah, which is so for people who don't know, this is his this is logo, um, and it's you know, Bush Batch Records, and um, so for everyone out there. Bushkin is not just MC Bushkin. Bushkin has now has got his record label. And I'd say that's been running for about what four years? Bush Bash, four or five years yeah. now? About four or five yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, it has. I mean 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had the idea for quite some time. It's been bubbling in the background. As you probably yourself, you know, anything like it takes ages to build. But now, oh, oh um, we've been kind of getting, now we're kind of getting it together. And the, the music has really stepped up. So it's all the music beautiful. you've heard thus far is, is, is good. But we're really, the stuff now, what we're making, we're kind of, we're hitting home now. We feel like, yeah, we've kind of found a mark. And we've got like a, a certain strategy and technique of how we're doing things. And, yeah, man, right, that's the case. Kind of coming into itself, so. Here you go. Listen to this. Oh, oh you know what? I'm only now just seeing the video that you were showing at the top of the page. Uh, yeah, no. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Love yeah, so this now, I'm tune. Now. I Love that tune. Yes, right, no. And that's not all that you've done. Up, I'm, I'm gonna drop another one, which is another one that I love. And it will bring me up to date to where we are. So that one's called Caught Up in My Feelings. And what people don't realize is that you've hooked up with a wicked singer called Sweet Pea. And so on the next time yes, we come back for part two, how did you meet Sweet Pea? And gonna... you know what? I shouldn't even ask you that, but just tell me a little bit and then we'll go back to it when you both come on the next time. But how did you meet Sweet Pea? Okay. Um, I met him through a, a mutual friend, but it's like the story is weird because like I've always kind of, I'm a bit of a visionary and sometimes I will just imagine things and say, yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking for. And my, at the time I was in the studio, I was saying, you know, I, I had an idea of a person I wanted and one of the things that I, I was on my checklist for this person was that they live close to the studio. Um, yeah. The studio is in West London and I'm actually from North London, so it's not in my area. But my, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, there that's we go. Yeah, so <laughs> yes, one of the, one of one of my criteria was that yeah, I wanted, I had a particular person in mind, but one of the criteria was that the person lived close to the studio. Um, and lo and behold, like long story short, a mutual friend went to one of these uh kind of industry events and he met a producer and uh Sweet P, um, and he invited them up to the studio because he heard their music and said, "No, I'd be, I'd like their music and stuff." And he, Sweet P came up to the studio, um. He obviously didn't know that I had this in my head and stuff like that. We kind of just hit it off really and truly. And wow. um, later down, I said to him, you know what? I was actually looking for you. You didn't know, that, but I actually was looking for you in particular. Like, I didn't know him. It was just like all a dream in my head. But that's how things work. So I just see things and dream it and it comes yeah. to fruition. So, yeah, he man. But the weird part that. about it is that, yeah, no, he's he's brilliant, man. Sweet, yeah. Yeah, sweet singing space all day. The funny thing about it is, um he was also kind of had a similar feeling in his vibe when he met me as well but he, uh, when he comes in i'll let him tell his side of the story yeah, as well. yeah yeah because here's another one that you two have both done and here we go <laughs> okay. yes this is one of my favorites funny enough this is oh, really? one of my favorites yeah, yeah, it's one of my favorite. So, Jeez. oh no, where are you going? Oh, <laughs> I'm there, I'm still there. Now I'm in the vibe. Hmm? Oh. 
Hey. God, but hey. Mm. Bushkin tunes Ralph. The tune uh, I... is Ralph. Oh <laughs> my god. Oh, I love that tune. Yes, no, oh, this bit. Oh. Love it, love it. Respect, respect. Yeah, really we need to get you in the studio. Oh, that, hey, okay, I okay, don't okay, mind. Okay. I'm ready when you are. I keep saying that to you, don't I? <laughs> yes, gonna, yes, no, that's right. More. We're gonna we're gonna make it happen. Yeah, definitely. I'm gonna okay. throw in one All more right. so I can get you to go because we're gonna come back and do part two. But I have to play this tune because this tune. Yes. Has been on redial all day. Do you know what I'm saying? And um, <laughs> where is it? These are. This is now what's going on with yourself. And here we go. Woo I like your shape. Oh, aye, aye, yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> go on now. Hey. 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 Like your shape, oh. baby, baby, you're beautiful. Yes, go on back. Woo! Cheers, cheers, cheers. What? The boy there, yes, yes. The energy is gone, gone. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I like your shape. Oh. Yes, Baby, your ah, love it, love it, love it. Oh, you so I am so proud you. of you. I'm not gonna lie, this is not me being um uh condescending. I am oh, so you so hello, hello, you. hello. Oh, hello. I can't hear you. Bro. That's probably you. <laughs> Can you hear me? Hello. I'm here. You can't, Valerie. I'm here. <laughs> I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. So hold on. It could be just you. Hello. hello. I'm hello. right here. What happened? Oh, no. <laughs> hello. Hey. You might have to log in and come back in again. One, two, one, two, one, two. That's you. I think it's your Wi Fi. It's your Wi Fi. Definitely your Wi Fi is cutting you out. Um, and I don't. Can you hear me now, darling? Yeah, bro. You can you hear me? Hello, hello. Yeah. What's going on? Oh. Don't you just hate that, that uh, Android phone? Technology, mate. What's going on? I know it's your Android phone. <laughs> it's probably all that dancing I was just doing. It's okay. If you log in and come back in, I'll be still here. It's okay. I don't know it's what totally happened. Hard. I really don't. Yeah, log in and come back if you can see me. That's it. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put him in the green room and hopefully. He will come back very shortly. But look, 
Bushkin is, as I said, oh, he's typing. I don't know what happened. It's okay. I'm going to try and log out. Hello. Hello. If you can hear me. Well. Yeah, log in. Yeah, do that. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, I'm having fun. It's it's a Friday night and there's so much of Bushkin's music. And anyone that's just joined us, we're going through where Bush, Bush Bash Records um, this tune that he's got called Sh Yay! Yes, I'm back. Hello. I don't know what happened there. Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. I don't know what happened there. I don't know what happened. The gremlins. <laughs> I know, Come right? On. It's just madness, madness. Where okay, jump on now. Yeah, okay, I was just sending you a message. Okay, okay yeah, We're now good. I'm back. I'm right. back in the middle. Um, look, Bushkin, as I said, I know you should be, you're supposed to be watching that movie, and yeah. then there's an yeah. after party in Q&A, and yeah, yeah. I know, and... Um, I will I catch a bit say, of it. I know, right? Before you go, just how has lockdown been for you and where you are at the moment? how has it been and any words that you want to just impart of wisdom even because we've got part two okay yes um well lockdown's been brilliant man it's been a good time to kind of i mean to be honest with you once it's been locked down we've just been continuing doing our thing and i'm a bit, uh yeah we've just been continuing working um and yeah just focusing and and yeah building on the working on the dream so um it's been good it's been fun and I mean, now that we're coming out of lockdown, it's good because a lot of people have seen the work that we've been doing and it's made us like, on tip of people's tongues and stuff like that. So that's really good. Um, yeah. And words of encouragement. I also, I can pick up my cousin. She's on the line, Sean. Um, and yeah, she's been helping us in the background. Said, oh, you see, it's like us up the front here in Santa. Like there's a team at the background who was helping to cultivate things and, and uh, make it. Because you've also, hopefully he hasn't gone too much, uh, Wi-Fi, Android, Jesus. Well. So, yeah. so I'm not knocking anybody with Android, sorry. <laughs> because you've got your own, um, you know, you've got your own uh, Close, uh, yes. uh, merchandise. You've yes. got, you know, um, you've let everybody know you are still on BBC One Extra with the Heartless crew. Yes. Um, I had the honest pleasure of being there with you. Yay! Yes, come on out with a vibe show. That show there was madness, man. That show was bad. Yeah, that show was bad. It was really, really bad. It was wicked. So yeah, there I was. I was one of your special guests on yes. the cabinet special, etc. Et um, yes, miss. I know we're gonna come back um because I want to play those music. Watch you know. Guess who I'm gonna bring on? Guess who I'm gonna bring on with you right now? What's what you want? Watch this. Why are you not making me talk Jamaican? <laughs> I'm English. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> hey, bro, God, oh, go on, bro, God. Link up, man. Listen, you know what? When you said the words of wisdom, this is what I was going to say. Unity is strength and teamwork makes it dream work, man. There's stuff that we're always saying in the studio in our office still, man. So, yeah, man. Bless up, doctor. Big up, bro, God. Big up, big you know up, big up. They oh, go. This worked perfectly because this is how I wanted it to work. I wanted the two of you to say, Yo, wow, go on, and bless yeah. up, and cross over. Well, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait, but I can't hear Doctor Doe. I can't hear him. Can you not hear him? No. You I can, can hear, hear him. You can't hear me? I can't hear him. Don't know why. Oh, no. That's a shame. You but know what? We have to link up as well, man, because you know what? Again, like I said, unity strength. I'm trying to link up the, the, the seed, man, and the uk vibe man in the studio and put down some tunes man sir but yes obviously you don't know value i'm hot on your tail and also doctor man you ever come forward but man we need to put down some works together cuz brother i'm ready tell, hey valerie tell him some ready 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 oh uh, you're going as well valerie now i can't hear yeah, none no, of no, you i'm still here oh, i'm still hear here you. I can hear you. Yeah, all right so you. uh bushkin i know you want me to come in the studio i'm definitely doctor yeah. said when you're ready when you're ready when you're ready the link all up right. is there you know what? Yeah, you know collaboration, what? collaboration, energy in abundance. Yeah. We have good people, good it's people. Good if good time is right, everything would link together. So, exactly. you know yes, what I mean? Yes. I know yes. that you're at a movie. He's at a premiere at the moment, Doctor. So, oh, you know, I'm going to yeah, <laughs> run back in there. I'll leave you. Leave 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 yeah. the doctor. Watch it. Thank you for having me so much. And part two is pending. You're telling yeah. me, hopefully, before then, we'll get you in the studio. So, on part two, so you're going to be. Play some sneak preview business. 
Right. I'll tell you what, we'll do the link up here yeah, and we'll do it in the studio. Because you know I've got a studio yes. in my house on Red Dead. Day. Okay, well then there you go. Let's do the part two. It's only come a skid out. Not don't why I'm not um uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah we'll do the part two in about three and a half weeks time let's get together yeah, before we come out of the full lockdown get some yes. on talk about the I'm new with... project but for yes. me my brother oh man no man of respect come on buddy man love love of everything <laughs> Doctor, bless up as well man bless, bless up bro yeah. we'll link up we'll link up we'll link up all, all right. right babe see you boys uh bless up man bye 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 babe <laughs> doctor we are